Yo, what's up guys? It's Transair 3 coming at you with some more action figure goodness. And today we're taking a look at my brand new Attack on Titan Mikasa Ackerman action figure from McFarland Toys. And there she is, all in her nice posability, like good old McFarland does. Very cool. Took her for took me forever to try to get her to stand on this freaking stand. Very cool figure. I picked this up at my local GameStop. You can tell it was uh, Attack on Titan 1999. Coming on the back, you got your obligatory product shots of Mikasa from Attack on Titan. And this is McFarlandToys.com. Number 18. Follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All that good stuff. So, it's Attack on Titan. McFarland Toys, Attack on Titan. So, Mikasa Eckerman, 12, uh, 12 plus. So, you know, this is actually a dope, uh, young teenage adult action figure. So, very cool, very cool indeed. So, that's what she comes in. She'll be sitting in there in her little bubble inside there. So, enough with the packaging. Set that off the side and take a look at Mikasa herself. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Get my camera situated. There we go. We'll unpeg her from her stand. Her stand has Attack on Titan, just like your typical McFarlane toys. Come with a little stand. Step back there. And I am a big fan of Attack on Titan. I haven't been able to catch up on the anime series, but it's pretty damn good. So, yeah. So, not, not too much of an articulation for her. But uh, she really holds very good poses. You got her mobility gear, wherever she, wherever you want to peg it. There's different pegs on the back here. You can switch those pegs out for the hanger. The hanger on this one ain't going to reach this one here for on the mobility gear. You can move it into these slots right here, whatever you want to peg this to. Well, I'm not too worried about it. But very neat. Very neat indeed. Now the extra swords do not come out, which which suck, but it's just a posability fig figure, so it's all good. Um, she has a little bit of, she got the knee joint, knee swivel, ankle swivel, and up and down motion. She's not really posable, just like your typical McFarlane toys, but it's just a shelf piece get in there on the head sculpt very nice nice detail on the swords very cool even got your pat patch for their scout regimen even on the back both sides of their arm which is pretty cool mobility gear but the gas uh, the gas is right here this is their gas canister and then there's just there are other good stuff on their mobility gear. So yeah, very cool. You got the nice belts. You can see the detail of the belts. Very nice detailed figure. But again, they're on her eyes. Very nice. Her head is on ball joint, wiggle waggly. Her arms move pretty good. Elbow, elbow swivel, elbow, I can't even talk, elbow joint, her, she has a wrist, wrist swivel, I, if I move her wrist because the swords will actually fall out, it took me forever trying to get these swords to stay in her hand, but she does have a waist swivel, very cool, give her a look up, there we go. So she she really doesn't stand alone by herself unless you try to get her pose on my flat surface here I got. Come on. I was iffy on reviewing this figure, but I said hell with it. It's Attack on Titan. It's like everyone loves Attack on Titan. There we go, guard or stand. Size comparison wise, let's bring in Sea spray. He's spraying the sea. 
one of my previous reviews. There's a Legion Legends class figure. And another size comparison. Bring in one of my previous reviews, the Combiner Menasaur from Combiner Force. There we go. And he fell off. <laughs> And another size comparison, bring in Titan's Return Perceptor for size comparison wise. So she's roughly a deluxe size figure, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, nothing much going on with this figure. Very cool, very highly, highly uh, detailed and all over. Just an absolute very awesome figure. Now you can detach these uh, mobility gear. If I can unpeg it. But the wire itself will not come attached at all. So. Which very, very sucks. But there's a post on her side of her leg where these get pegged into whenever you get her out of the package. And there you go. There's Mikasa, ladies and gentlemen, ready to kill some titans. So, yeah, very cool. Very cool figure indeed. So, nothing much on this figure. I highly recommend it, guys, if you find it at your GameStop. Pick this figure up. You don't have to open her. Just put her on your shelf or open her up, stick her in a pose, stick her on your shelf. Be a good shelf piece if you're a Attack on Titan anime fan. Um... So don't forget to check your game stops out. Definitely. Uh, I was trying to find Aaron Yeager. So I was trying to find him. But ended up finding her. GameStop didn't even know they were carrying these figures. Which is funny. It was the only one in stock at their store. He was like, wow, we didn't know we had these. He was like, that's cool. That's, uh, that's pretty, pretty messed up. So definitely, definitely check your game stops. But, you know, said guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the new Attack on Titan Mikasa Ackerman Deluxe McFarlane Toys action figure. And this is Trans Aaron 38 talking again. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment on any videos I do. And keep a lookout for new videos headed your way. And also, follow me on Instagram, and I'll follow you on Insta Instagram back. All that good stuff. So, you know, said guys, don't forget to check out Web Junior 1977 Prime John 1. Game Dungeon Productions, Chris Stuff, Liquid Cool 440, Liquid Cool 360. All their links will be down in the description below. So, you know, said guys, this is Trans Aaron 38 talking again. Hopefully, catch you on my live streams here later this week. Until the next time, later.